So, my name is Mark Coniglio and I'm the creator of Isadora. We are here at IBC 2022 to announce a new feature inside of Isadora that we call IzzyCast. This is going to allow you to transmit audio, video, and data from any copy of Isadora to another. But before I get into that, because it's IBC and this is a broadcast conference, uh, Isadora has typically been used in theaters for live theater. So we're going to start with the first question, what is Isadora? So, Isadora is a node-based programming language so that you can create whatever kind of scenario of routing, manipulating, and changing the audio, video, and data that you're working for. So it's a node-based programming language. It's little modules and you wire them up. So Isadora doesn't do anything automatically on its own. Instead, you have an imagination about an idea that you want to realize and you can get in and hook these modules together and rapidly make a custom solution. Isadora's hallmark is real-time interaction. What we were built for is to be able to take data from things like open sound control, MIDI, serial data, TCP IP, you name it, different kinds of protocols coming in, changing the way we see the video, the way we hear the audio, and how the data is being manipulated and changed and, and moved around. And finally, and this is why we are here with Zoom at their booth, is that it's incredible for uh, uh, routing and presenting both video and audio, but also the data. So Zoom has used this in very large productions with thousands of participants as a way to move data around and arrange it, again, because of its rapid prototyping capabilities. So that's my brief introduction to Isadora. So now let's talk about IzzyCast. The first thing to say about it is that IzzyCast is powered by the Zoom Video SDK. The thing about this is that I wouldn't have been able to take these steps without this amazing tool that allowed me to go from not being able to send video, audio, and data across the world to being able to do that in about two weeks' time. Now, there's more steps. We're in an alpha stage at this point with IzzyCast, but the actual ability to do this, to get through networks, complicated network set setups, that's what we all know and love Zoom for, and that's what we get already by using the Zoom Video SDK. So what this means is that inside of Isadora, you'll be able to have one, two, three, five, who knows how many, we haven't tested yet, but I think a lot, of copies of Isadora that can send 1080p video, high quality audio with individual channels so that you can take a particular person and route their audio to a particular speaker, and also to have bi-directional data transfer where you move data to and from these locations, yeah? so. That's enough about the background. Let's see what it does. And here's where we can show you actually what we can do with the program. So here we have in Berlin, Germany, Maria. She's going to kind of do a little scenario for you because the, the thing that we're trying to tell you about today is a kind of use case that might come up for some of you where you're a, you might need to have a high quality video of a talent that you're going to interview. So let's say you send them a kit and in that kit is a PTZ camera. In this case, we're using Bird Dog P200 PTZ cameras and uh, also three lights and a computer that has an Isadora patch, we call it a file on there. And so they plug it together as you say, they put the lights where you say, and they log in with a single number. And at that point, you as the director have complete control of the situation. So here Maria is in Berlin, and I'm gonna control now the PTZ camera positioning from here. So let's, I mean, it looks nice now, but let's just say that I wanna move to the left or move to the right move up, move down, you know, exactly what you'd expect. But the point is, I'm doing that from here, and it's being transmitted to the remote location. I also have control of the DMX lighting inside of this space. So if I wanted to adjust the lighting on Maria's face and make it a little bit brighter, which doesn't look so good, but there we go. So we find some, there we go, that looks nice. Or maybe I want to make that blue background more intense. So as the director, I'm able to completely remotely control the situation, make sure that the picture looks perfect so that then I can start my interview. So we're going to mock up that interview for you and then we'll show you at the end of it how we can also get data back from Berlin. So we're sending data to there, but we can also take data back. So hi Maria, how are you? Hello Mark. Okay, we're going to pretend to do our interview. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So Maria, welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. 
I am Maria Pusi. I'm a choreographer from Greece, but I live in Berlin two years now. I'm here at Lake Studios Berlin at the moment with my dancer Anna Hell, and we're working on our digital dance project. Okay, great. And tell us a little bit about that digital dance project. Yeah, we are using uh, Rukoko motion capture shoot, so as to capture the movement and turn it after two drawings that can be projected on the body. So. This is what we are trying to do today. We will try to send data very nicely so you will be able to see uh, these drawings. Great. So just to make that clear for everyone, uh, the dancer is wearing a motion capture suit that has data that accumulates about her movement. And so we're going to send that data here. So using a preset that I already prepared, I'm going to switch the camera view to that dancer. That's Anna. And Anna is going to start moving. And I don't see any data coming, L. Maybe you can check that. There we go. There we go. So, so it's measuring the position of her hands and her feet. And as she moves around, that data is coming here. And we're rendering that and making these drawings on the screen locally. So this is a way of like taking that data and actually making something happen on this end. So, and as you can imagine, it's now like quite a bit of data. It's not as simple as just the PTZ camera. So that's the, kind of, that's the kind of capability that we're introducing with IzzyCast. I'm going to go back. Thank you, Anna. I'm going to go back now to Maria for just a second. Uh, thank you, Maria. And I'm going to go to the title card. I'll say a few last words, OK? Thank you very much. So the idea, this is in alpha. I just got this all working days ago. But it works, actually. And what's going to happen now is that we head toward an open beta phase that we hope to coordinate with uh, Zoomtopia in early November. And at that time, we'll announce the pricing. Because the way it will work when you use this system is that you'll buy minutes from us, and then you will consume those minutes by signing up. So the actors will be out there for everyone to use. To actually put them into use, you'll buy minutes from us. And that's how you connect with them. So that's IzzyCast. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them. But if not, I can just say thank you very much.